NBA Jam pioneered the arcade sports video game genre. I made a video on the history of the Jam franchise already, so check that out if you haven't. And while Midway started it all, in 2001, EA's new studio at the time, EA Sports Big, decided to put its own spin on the idea. While NBA Jam was an arcade basketball game, it did take place in an arena with players wearing their full game day attire. EA in their prime decided to give Street Basketball its own game, complete with the NBA license, and the result was one of the greatest and most iconic collection of sports games ever made. Everyone has heard of NBA Street, and nearly everyone loves the games. While NBA Street Volume 2 is usually looked at as the best in the series, the original NBA Street is the most important, because its success led to not only the awesome NBA sequels, but also NFL and FIFA Street games. NBA Street was the most natural fit for a street sports game in my opinion. Who hasn't played street basketball before? Nearly every neighborhood has a hoop. More people have access to an outdoor court than an indoor one, so Street was more relatable to most people. Instead of being a sports game geared towards creating simulation NBA basketball, Street took the NBA Jam approach and I feel like the Street setting and vibe was an even better aesthetic for an arcade basketball game. NBA Street created the Game Breaker feature found in every Street game that followed it and introduced unique rules that changed the strategy of basketball. Goaltending was allowed and players could jump unrealistically high resulting in three-pointers constantly getting grabbed, incredible flashy dunks, and the most powerful and disrespectful blocks of all time. The game was a massive hit selling over 5.5 million units in the United States alone. The key part of NBA Street was its accessibility. Not everyone who plays video games likes sports games. While I personally love sports games of all types, Simulation sports games can be boring and often too challenging for the average person. However, the arcade over-the-top gameplay of Street, combined with the Street setting and aesthetic, helped create a game that everyone wanted to play. In Next Generation's review of the game, they said that NBA Street was a game that even sports game cynics can't help but love. Without NBA Street, not only would the other Street titles never exist, but the incredibly popular park in modern 2K games likely wouldn't exist either. Besides NBA Jam, NBA Street might just be the most influential sports game of all time. EA Sports NBA Street featured 3-on-3 three -three basketball games where the first team to score 21 points would win, as long as they were up by at least two. Shots inside the arc were counted as one point, and three-point shots were counted as twos. Obviously, these are common street rules, but this was likely the first time they were ever seen in a video game. And I say likely because I'm pretty sure it was the first time, but there may have been some random game that also had street rules. There are no fouls in the game, no quarters, no time limits, no annoying rules. You straight up could do whatever you wanted to score. You acquired trick points in-game by getting steals, blocks, dunks, and faking out defenders, which built up your game breaker meter. Once the meter is full, you have a limited amount of time where nearly any shot you attempt will go in, which results in some of the craziest shots you will ever see. Game breaker shots not only count as points for your team, but they also subtracted points from your opponent's score, making it personal. This mechanic led to some incredible multiplayer sessions. Controls appeared standard, but the steal button also functioned as a trick button on offense, and there were four turbo buttons, each performing different actions when pressed. This was very similar to another EA Sports big title, SSX. These turbo buttons allowed you to perform different tricks, and the mechanic was very similar to a fighting game. It's a weird comparison to make, but it's similar. The game featured two game modes, the circuit mode, which, also similar to fighting games, has a ladder set up that pits you against each NBA team, followed by boss teams led by streetball legends. After each win, you can add a player from the team you defeated to your roster, or take the points you earned to level up a created player. 
However, your roster is strong from the get-go, considering the fact that you get Michael Jordan when the game begins. So it's not like it's a tedious grind like you'd see in modern sports games that are trying to encourage you to spend money on microtransactions, but instead, NBA Street was simply created for the players to have fun. I miss that. Each team you play has their own unique court, and the game's other game mode has you try and achieve different goals for each court, which earns you new items to customize your created player with, such as shoes, heads, bodies, and clothes, as well as cheat codes. You can even unlock secret teams, like the EA Sports Big Team, which even features snowboarders from the SSX titles. For its time, the game had fantastic graphics, with the varied courts really bringing Virtual Street Basketball to life. The different trick and dunk animations were incredible, and led to some of the most chaotic basketball gameplay you will ever witness. The presentation is awesome too, as the announcer, Joe The Show, will roast you if you play like trash, and hype you up when you're hot. The crowd can even talk trash to you, and when performing steals or blocks or basically doing anything, the game has these super exaggerated sound effects that just add to the charm. While NBA Street Volume 2 was a deeper game with improved gameplay, the original NBA Street is still incredibly fun to play and set the stage for the future. It was an experimental, creative idea from EA, and they knocked it out of the park. While the game is at its most fun when playing with friends, the unlockable items in the ladder style circuit mode makes it worthwhile for single player play as well. The game was universally praised at launch, and as time goes on, it continues to hold up, and today has a legendary status. I think I speak for everyone when I say that EA should bring back NBA Street. NBA Live has simply not been good recently, so why not make a new modern NBA Street title instead? I feel like more people would buy that than another mediocre NBA Live. Especially when you consider how 2K's park has become so pay to win, and how the builds are so unbalanced, and how the servers are so bad, a new NBA Street title could easily capitalize perfectly on 2K's park mistakes. Even if it never returns, however, we will always have the original NBA Street titles. And while I seem to say that at the end of all of my retrospectives on these classic sports games, it really is awesome that NBA Street exists. It is not expensive to buy used, and inviting friends over for multiplayer might just be one of the most fun activities around. Thanks for watching.